We're taking these supplies. To make these alcohol inks. Today on Make Shade Create. Hey guys, I'm Corey. I'm Jess. And this is Make Shade Create. And we are doing alcohol inks. Again. So. <laughs> There's a method to our madness. Um, the reason why is a couple months ago we got a, a comment from Pink Poodle Crafts. And I'll put it up on the screen. Um, basically saying that the way we originally had done it wouldn't hold up over time because alcohol is a solvent. We should use printer ink instead of acrylic paint. So I found some printer inks, refillable ones that you use apparently a syringe for. And we figured we'd test this out. So we're going to use the same colors for each. We're going to make some with the printer ink, some with the alcohol or with the uh, acrylic paint. Test them out just like we did the first time, and then go from there. So, I think what we'll do is we'll do with the acrylic paints the same way we did the original ones. Yep. We'll start there and see how that works. See if we remember how to do this. <laughs> Maybe we consult our own video. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, here we go. We're going to start with the method we used originally, which was the acrylic paint and rubbing alcohol. It's going to be 91% uh, is probably your better bet. Or higher. Or higher. Um, so we're going to take these little... Dripper bottles. That's the ones. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I haven't had enough coffee today. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to first start with the alcohol. And then I'm just going to add like a drop of paint. And then I'm going to shake it, see how it turns out. Do it again until I get to the consistency I want. Just the funnel's too big. Oh, okay, that's fine. Sorry. It's okay. Let's just start. That's probably good, I think. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. All right. This is more for the experiment. We can use most of it for whichever one's better. All right, so we're going to start with this uh, blue. The lid on. Make sure the other lid's closed all the way. Oh yeah, don't make that mistake. Again. And shake. Still so one thing we remembered from last time is that some of them we made a little too thick. Mm -hmm. So we don't want, we, you want it to be thinner than thick. Cause that way it, the alcohol of uh, evaporates easier. I actually think maybe like one, maybe two more dots, but I think it's going to be good because I think this is almost the consistency that you want. It it's, looks good to me, honestly, the way it is. I know, but I'm afraid the pigment's not going to hold up. That's okay. That's part of the experiment. Okay. Do you, is it the color you want? That's what it is. Not the not the thickness you want, the color you want. Is that the Does that color match this? Which yeah. I think is basically the same. So, I would say then that one's done. One done. So, I, I don't think we need to show all this in real time, so we're just gonna do it like this. <laughs> is I'm gonna take these other bottles and I'm gonna start making other colors. So I'm gonna make like a, a true red, which I've never done before, so it's gonna be fun because I'm gonna use the magenta and yellow. We'll see what happens. Um, I need to make green. I need to make a- Purple. Uh, purple. And an orange. And an orange. So let's get started on that. So now we have all the different colors. Um, so we did the basic colors we started with, which is black, 
magenta, yellow, blue. Then we also made a red, an orange, a purple, and a green. So I'm gonna set these to the side for now. All right, so now we're gonna do the way they, the, Pink, they? Pink Poodle Craft. Thank you, I had a moment where I was like, what is their name again? <laughs> they actually said to use a six color one, but all I could find was a four color one. And I think that this will work just fine because we found a key. You wanna show them the key? Sure. We found this key, um, which is kind of basic and kind of like explains it just like you think it would, but like, it shows you how to make actual red. It shows you how to make like a royal blue, which isn't how you would necessarily think. Some of these we used when we just made these, but we're gonna try, this is where this really comes into effect. So basically it's kind of the same um, as using the paint. So what you're gonna do is first put the rubbing alcohol in the bottle. Now the only difference is that if you see these have these tops and you're gonna use a syringe to pull out how much ink you want. I'm actually only gonna pull the one for the first time just to see if we get enough with just one part. All right, so first we gotta get through the film. Just stab it through. I'm trying. Go in. <laughs> All right, yeah, help me, cause I'm gonna make a mess. <laughs> it's harder than it looked, down. No. <laughs> I did it a little too, I think cause we kept hitting it, but oh well. <laughs> Kind of looks gruesome. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, all right, so then we're just gonna put one squirt in. Well, I would try to do like a drop. All right. So I do scientific about it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right, there's the first drop. Let's see how that looks. Put that there. We're gonna mix it up and see what happens. It's a chemistry class. I know, right? All right. Very precise. Ooh, that's uh, that's pretty, but I, don't I think, think it's I think the right we need more. I think we need more. Well, because this also isn't as thick. It is pretty though. I it like is. that pink, but but I think it needs to be thicker. So we might need to do like two or three drops. Yeah, that's okay. That's so this time we'll do two drops. Okay. Just making sure it's mixed. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was, but I just wanted to make sure. I'm glad we got the paper towel though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so do two drops this time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's, a that's a that that actually looks like it'll work good. That was a squirt. <laughs> it wasn't a drop. So the one thing about this, guys, is that where like the paint. There we go. The paints are gonna be this color. This is gonna look kind of how the printer inks do. It's probably gonna look a little darker than it actually will turn out. Yeah. Because as it thins out, it won't be as. Uh... Ooh, that's pretty though. That is pretty. I think that's good. Okay. So I think that's we'll start with one. that. That's the magenta. All right. So let's go to the next color. I'm actually gonna leave the syringe filled with it just because we're gonna need to mix more colors. I think we can just speed on through these next few yeah. colors. All right, so now we're actually gonna do the same way we did the paints. We're gonna start mixing the colors to get the other colors we want. All right, so first we're gonna start with the yellow. I'm just gonna do one dot. If I can get it to come out without making a mess. Okay, that was a squirt, but that's okay. So do the same amount of red. Yep. Or magenta. <laughs> so that's magenta, not red. <laughs> and then the magenta. We'll make it look. All right. So now, ooh, that's red. Mm -hmm. That is red. But see, but that's hard to really tell because they're so rich, but I, would, I honestly think you might need a little more magenta. Um, I don't. Won't you but test, we can. Well, we get these tape towns, test it a little bit. Or do you, well, yeah, let's do that. Because that one, I, I think the paint you can see a little more. This you can't really tell as much. Maybe just open up the bottle and just kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, oh. It's yeah. actually more pink. Yeah. So you think I should add more yellow? I think it's gonna be close enough. Okay. I mean, it's obviously different from the magenta. Maybe add one more of each. One more of each? Yeah. All right. Start with the yellow. I feel like a doctor. <laughs> Kids, she did not go to medical school. <laughs> She's probably not the one I want. I missed during my medicine. <laughs> All right, that's 
one of each. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay. It's darker. Oh yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's, that's red. Yep. All right, there we go. So that's we, gruesome. Yeah, it's kind of gory. That, but you can't deny that that's red. Yeah, that's red. Okay. All right, so there's the red. So now let's go ahead and do the others. We'll I'm just speed keep through this. So this is where that key comes in handy. If you didn't notice when I did the orange, it was kind of hard because you have to add more yellow than the magenta. So then I got this orange where it's like a, it's kind of deep, but I like it. I like it that color. But I was trying to make purple and I did equal amounts of blue and I did equal amounts of the pink. And it made royal and blue. And it made royal blue. So now I've got to probably add more of the magenta. A lot more. Yeah, to get this purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this top again because I've already opened it. And I'm gonna go ahead and add more budget. Here we go. So we got the black, the blue, the yellow, the magenta. Then we mixed red, orange, purple, green, just like we did with the paints. But I think I like these better the consistency is more what we wanted because if you look at these like here's the greens you can see the difference in color and everything like this is definitely darker and this is this is more milky this is milky compared to these so i think these are going to work better but we're going to test them both out to see i also think we both uh kind of think that because of this having paint in it that not only are you, with these you already got that wait for this to dry this, you gotta wait for the alcohol to evaporate and the paint to dry. Yeah. Which I think that's why those took longer. Yeah. So we're gonna test these out. I'm actually gonna start with the paints because that's how we've been doing this. You know, we're starting with the paint. So we're gonna do paint first. I'm gonna set the printer inks aside. And... So here are the paints. You can definitely see the difference when you look at these. Cause like, again, like this is orange, this is orange. And you can see the difference. Like this is definitely like a milkier consistency. And this is more like a, li a clearer liquid, I guess you could say. Like an ink. This is more like paint. <laughs> <Which> <laughs> is Watered nice. down paint. All right, well, black I know is gonna take over. So we'll do just little dots of that in a minute. <laughs> All right, so let's start. Let me shake it up again, because that's another thing. You probably have to shake these a lot because they're well, gonna you start- you do regular ones anyway. They're gonna start settling more. So, this is a better consistency than our first try. All right, so I'm gonna do like so. But you, you can, can even see. Oh, yeah, hold you on. you can see it now. It's separating. Focus, there we go. You can definitely tell those are separating. So that was the first one. That's the pink. Let's try the yellow. I didn't shake this now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, it is yellow. It's I mean, yellow. I'll give it's you just, that. It's, it's just, not, yeah. It's not the way I really need it. So, so far, it's. Oh, it's not even coming out. There it goes. <laughs> there we go. That's that doesn't look bad. That, that doesn't look like it's separating as much. Yeah. Maybe the red just wasn't, or the magenta wasn't shooken up enough. First of all, if you look, it's speckled because it's separating. I think that's why the first time, like you said, it, I think that's why we put so much paint. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. You can tell what color is yeah, what. The colors are nice. They're pretty. I mean, just... it's pretty Easter, like you said before, too. Yeah. We should do this a couple of weeks ago. Um, but let's set this aside, let it dry, and see what happens. Um, let's go ahead and start doing the ink. Set these aside. Swap out. Look at that quick reset. All right. It's not like we had this planned or anything. All right, so again, <laughs> we're gonna start with the primary colors we had, which is the blue, the yellow, and the magenta, and the black. And the black. 
I'm not doing a lot of black because that tends to take over everything. So we'll start with the magenta, which is how I did it last time. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that's that's Now, perfect. I can already see the difference. Okay, so I'm going to go in real quick for you guys. This looks a That lot. is not separated at all. Yeah. Like, that is one consistent liquid. Wow. So, that looks, and that's so much richer, too. Yeah. Let's do the yellow. Oh, same thing. Yeah, it's separated a little bit, but not too no, much. No, it's not as not, much as the paint did. That could also be imperfections in the plate. These are dollar store plates. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like, we're not using fine china to do this, guys. That's true. <laughs> I love that blue. I love that blue. We got this, polka dot paint. We do. <laughs> it look, you know what it looks like? It kind of looks like, you know how like this crown drawings? Yeah. It looks like a crown drawing. Yeah, right? kind of. This looks like paint. Or like a marker. Yeah, or like a marker, which is what we wanted. So this does look a lot better. They both look like flowers. Um, This one's not as flowery, but that's okay. Um, I'm actually gonna- She's got a big soup in the middle because she got a little excited about these being vivid colors. <laughs> It'll look pretty. Uh, <laughs> now, we are going to test the paints we originally made. Now, it's been months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to hold this because he has to move those plates. I'm getting there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, these are the ones we originally made, guys. <clears throat> All right. If you can see, some of these we don't have a lot of. Some of these. We had a lot of to begin with. And they have settled at the bottom. Yeah. Really bad. Like you can actually see it in the blue really. Like there's like Well, a this thick... was the metallic blue and that was the metallic purple. That we always had problems with those. They they kind of exploded. This isn't doesn't even exist. Like <laughs> this is this is nothing. This is just dry paint. So we're gonna set that aside. Um there's the white. You can actually see the white really well. That one's settled yeah. a lot. Um the black, black, you can't really tell what's going on. Blue, you can't really tell. It, no, it is settled. You can see it right there. Yeah. All right. So we're going to try these and see what happens um, because it's been so long. Mm -hmm. We don't know how well this is going to hold. So we're going to test that because that was actually part of our comment was that they don't hold up as well. So we're going to see. So that's all of them. We have the ones we just mixed today. This is the ink. And these are the ones we mixed almost a year ago. Some of these colors held up really well. There are some that look like nothing. Like this This one looked like shiny water. Because now, it sparkles. That, that, to, to that, if you go back and watch the original video, we put a oh. lot of paint in these. And they are thick. They are not liquid like these are. These are thick. Like you can see, it is like pulled up. Like they are not liquids. They are like milky as heck. All right. So last thing we're gonna do is we have a bottle of actual blue alcohol ink that's been manufactured. And we're gonna test it versus our three other blues on each one. So, how do you want to do this? Because we have to try this one on a separate one, probably. Well, no. Let's put a big dot of the blue. Or, you know what? We'll do this. Pause. All right. So, what we have now... <laughs> I forgot I had these. Um, they're little frosted glasses. Um, we're going to use those to test these blues on. So, this is... Of course. So, first, I'm going to start 
Well, this is the paint. I believe, yeah, this is the paint. That's the one we just made, right? Yeah. This is the one we just made. So we're gonna start with this and I'm gonna do a blue. Ooh, sorry. Can't really even see. Nope. You can see barely it. tell that's there. Yep. All right, that's that one. And now we're gonna test the actual versus that. The one that was manufactured, I'll put it on the other side. Oh, boom. There you go. So there's that's the difference. the difference right there. And you can't even see that there's, I mean, you can see it pulling in the bottom, but that's it. So that's that one. Now. Let's skip ahead to the old one. All right, let's do the old. This is the old blue. Shake it up again. All right. So we'll do one side. It's there. You can definitely see that one. Again, we added a lot of paint to do that. And the ink. Which is a lot deeper. richer. Yes. So there you go. But you can see that the, the alcohol ink color stays a lot more. This one, as it thins out, gets lighter. Yeah. All right. And here's Final what you think is going to be the winner. This is the ink that we made. Just now. It's not quite as vivid, but we can fix that with some more ink. It does not stick as well. And there you go. So it doesn't stick as well, but I think that's just a matter of adding more ink. Yeah. Adding more printer ink to it. Um, that's surprising, but it definitely worked better than this. Yeah. So this one worked <laughs> not as well. <laughs> this one worked better than this one, but you had to use you almost was, whole use bottles a, yeah. of paint to do that, it. I remember doing this one. We had to use like almost whole bottles of paint. The ink seemed to work the best. Um, and like Corey said, like I think that blue, we could have gotten it to stick a little better and be more vivid if we would have just added more blue ink to it. Ink to it. It's just a matter, like we were trying to just mix them and compare these two. Yeah. To get it to be like where you actually want it, you'll want to you want really thick consistencies of color because it's going to dissipate. But, I mean, we learned. Yep. I learned a lot. I feel like I learned a lot. I had fun making the inks, though. These I had more fun with. I think you could. I think you, I can kind of see it in your face. You kind of want to start adding more ink to them to make them actually legit inks now. I mean, I kind of do, but I can wait on that. That's not a big deal. Well, you could do it real quick. Um, you got the syringes right there. You might as well use them up. That's true. Okay, she's gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so instead of trying to fix the ones we already made, and because we wanna get a better recipe for you guys, I'm actually gonna pay attention to how much more I put in these. We're gonna start over from scratch. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the cartridge inks. Um, I already have some in syringes, so that's good. Um, so we're gonna start from scratch and just measure what we're putting in and try to get these more rich like the commercial one so all right let's go ahead and do that most difficult one that one was that everything else was easy it was like three milliliters of blue uh the blue to get the cyan and then or the cyan to get blue and then three milliliters magenta to get magenta three milliliters yellow to get yellow three milliliters black to get black and that's probably the consistency we need the red was two magenta to four yellow that was to get the first or second shade of red that we got that was actually the second one which actually ended up being a better one but that's yeah. like true red like that's, that's true like red this color red. Yeah. The green was easy because it was two yellow to two 
cyan. Same thing with the purple. So, and the same thing with the purple. The purple was two cyan two, to two magenta. Two cyan to two magenta. The orange, however, <laughs> if you didn't see in a high speed, we did like three tries. No, four attempts to get orange because I started out trying to make orange and I made red. So I said that'll work. Then I went and did this one. This one's darker. It's 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 red. It's red. It's a lighter red. We got a lot of red, guys. This is like a blood orange. And then we have the orange we finally agree on. Which, I mean, if you look at this to this, it's not like, so start with the yellow, guys. Yeah, when that's another thing. Magenta, start with the yellow. With the I yellow. was starting with magenta. That was a bad idea. Yeah. So that actually turned out to be a quarter milliliter of magenta to four milliliters of yellow. And this is in, um, I got to find the measurements for the bottles. And I will do that and we will post the... This whole recipe will be down in the description, along with to how much alcohol we used. Yeah. So that that seems to be better. Now the only thing we have to do is I need another glass, and we're gonna test these versus the thickness of the other one and see if they come up just as vivid. All right. So he actually just took the one we did the paint on, and the first, the our attempt, the paint that we made today, and um. The alcohol had evaporated, but because but the, the paint, paint wasn't dry, he could wash it. I washed <laughs> it right off. First things first, let's look at the blues and see if they look right. So here is the manufacturer. The manufacturer blue. Yep. There we go. Okay, so this Try is the it. first blue. Oh wow, yeah, that's a lot lighter. We did. This is the one I just made. That's a lot closer. So yeah. That's need a lot more, closer. I need a lot more ink um, to the, the one we did the very first time. All right, so there's that. Um, actually, we could probably leave it at that and the test that way because we could. just compared the blues. Yep, I think we're so good with that. I think we're good with that, but I am going to decorate this plate because I feel like it. So. If Corey could go ahead and get those off, that'd be great. <laughs>